hello and welcome back to our channel i hope you've been enjoying this holy spirit series and please don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe so today we're going to be talking about two outpourings of the holy spirit so we are living between two great outpourings of the holy spirit the book of acts describes the first outpouring it began with the day of pentecost and is now called in the bible the former or early reign of the spirit it is the first widespread manifestation of the holy spirit as the church grew to be fully under his direction and control this experience is available to all christians today the book of joel and revelation indicates that there will be a second great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The Bible calls this outpouring the latter rain. We are living between these two great outpourings of the Holy Spirit, between two great manifestations of the Holy Spirit. These two outpourings of the Holy Spirit are similar in many ways. The first occurred in answer to a 10-day prayer meeting of believers united in prayer for the fulfillment of Jesus' promise and began when God answered their prayers by pouring out his Spirit in the early rain on the day of Pentecost. The second outpouring of the Spirit will begin when God answers the prayers of his people who are claiming the promises of God resulting in the outpouring of the Spirit in the latter rain. In the book of Acts, we see the Holy Spirit was in full control of God's church. During the latter reign, the church will once again be fully controlled and directed by the Holy Spirit with even greater power of the Spirit manifested. What happened following the early reign of the Holy Spirit? In the book of Acts, we see how the Holy Spirit power accompanying the preaching of the apostles. Thousands of the hearers were converted and accepted Christ as their Savior. Jesus had foretold the coming of his Holy Spirit, um, or rather power, for witnessing. And we find this all in the book of Acts in chapter 1 and in chapter 2, and um, chapter 4 and also chapter 11. We also see the believers continuing steadfastly and persistently in the apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, in breaking of bread, and in prayer. They held to the truth and teaching of God's word, the Bible. The sweet fellowship that began with 10-day prayer meeting continued with their united praying. A spirit of generosity was seen following the day of Pentecost experience with no selfish ambition, no greed or stinginess. These early Christians were anxious to help their fellow believers who were in need. They also continued in daily fellowship with prayer meetings in the temple and homes. One of the most striking phenomena following the day of Pentecost is the record of the Holy Spirit directing the church in a very clear and dramatic way. The first is that he revealed important information to Peter about a deception in the church by two individuals, and that's in Acts chapter 5. Angels intervened for the progress of the church when Peter was delivered from, from prison. The angel of the Lord and the Holy Spirit spoke directions to Philip concerning an Ethiopian to whom God wanted the gospel to be taught. And we can find that in Acts chapter 8. The Holy Spirit related specific directions to Peter concerning God's acceptance of Gentile believers. And we find that in Acts chapter 11. The gift of prophecy was in operation by the Holy Spirit in the early church. The Holy Spirit informed the Apostle Paul of the future bonds and afflictions he would suffer. And we find that in Acts chapter 20. So I am sure that every Christian who has read the book of Acts in the New Testament has longed for the same manifestation of the Holy Spirit to happen in his or her life and in the church. The good news is that the Holy Spirit wants to manifest his early reign and early power in the church today. Secondly, the Spirit will manifest himself in even more powerful ways when the latter reign of the Spirit is poured out on God's church. So what will happen when the latter reign experience of the Holy Spirit takes place?
Just before Jesus returns, there will be a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit called the latter rain. We read in Revelations 18 verses 1 where they describe this event. The earth is described as being lighted with God's glory, which is his character. This prophecy foretells a time when a great revival and reformation will take place among God's people. Christ's character will be fully reflected in their lives. How will this happen? It will happen as a result of God's people being fulfilled with the Holy Spirit, with both early and latter rain power of the Holy Spirit. So two two key ingredients that brought the early rain experience in, into fruition were number one, prayer. And number two, receiving the infilling or baptism of the Holy Spirit. Again, two ingredients will enable the latter rain experience to take place during God's end time work. These two ingredients are identical to those of the early rain. And number one, it's also prayer and fulfilling and re- and fulfilling receiving the infilling or baptism of the Holy Spirit, preparing us to receive the latter rain of the Spirit. God doesn't want us to sit around and simply wait for the great last day of pouring of the Spirit on the church. We are to play an active role in cooperating with Him to receive His outpouring. Those early Christians followed Christ's instructions to pay for, to pray for the promised Holy Spirit outpouring, and God honored their prayers with the Pentecost experience. Today we are to do the same thing. We are to earnestly pray for and seek the early rain baptism of the Holy Spirit to come into our lives. We are also to pray earnestly for God to pour out his spirit in latter rain abundance in Zechariah chapter 10 verses 1. Christians have been living during the time of the early rain since the day of Pentecost. It is time for the latter rain to begin. However, I warn you, Satan will do everything in his power to keep it from happening, for he knows it will be the death will be his death of his reign he will seek to keep us so busy and involved in the world's cares and concerns that we will neglect to earnestly seek god for his spirit and receive the early reign in fullness in our life jesus warned us of this danger in luke 21 verses 34 the question is are we willing to seek god with all our hearts only then will we find him and know him him as the five wise virgins came to know him in jeremiah 29 verses 13. first we must every day earnestly seek the infilling or baptism of the holy spirit secondly with this attitude of self-surrender we must petition him day and night to revive us individually as a church Finally, we are to pray daily for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in, in the latter rain abundance and power. And for this week's prayer focus, we want to ask God to lead us to understand the early rain and latter rain of the Holy Spirit, to baptize us with His Spirit and prepare us to receive the latter rain, and bless those who are in our prayer list. We want to also pray for the the spirit of self surrender, um, and that we may be able to overcome ourselves, and that the Holy Spirit may give us the power to overcome ourselves, so that we can be able to receive um, the Holy Spirit and the blessings that are bestowed from receiving the Holy Spirit. I hope that this message blesses you and that you may share it with others and that they may, they may also be empowered um, by this message and continue to pray for the Holy Spirit as it is a very important um, part of our Christian journey um, to connecting with Christ and creating a stronger relationship with God. Uh, till the next video, I hope this blesses you. Um, Thank you and God bless you. Bye.